Okay, boy. Let's go. What? <laughs> Listen, a bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You no, know, strong liquor. Over strong. Why, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. <laughs> but for shine, well... I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, shine? Sure? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for a good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Okay. Easy there. Whoa there. Easy. Easy, easy. Settle down. Easy.
Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I hear you. This will help the stew. Thank you, Arthur. I've come up with some ideas for ways we could improve things around here if you want to take a look. A very nice addition, I think. Guess we'll see if anyone notices. Get that animal out of here! It's all good. Calm down. Oh! I'm sorry. I'm sorry about Jack. Now, I saw some of those breakaway fellers. I had no idea. I thought it was a business matter. I know Arthur and Hosea had had dealings with them. Didn't seem serious. And I don't know anybody who would kidnap a boy. I feel like a fool. I would gladly give my life for his. Not that it matters or that it works that way. But I'm sorry. I just wanted to say that. Oh, Driscoll boy. Mr. Morgan? Nervy little fella, ain't you? Wouldn't you be? Don't cross us, and you'll be fine. Uh-huh. Hello. Hi, Uncle. Arthur? Hey. Hello, Arthur.
Come on, boy. Fools up to? It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault, the darky white. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come All on. Right. And I'll tell right. you, you lily liver. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay, even for a darky. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had it up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! How's your luck? Quite well, thank you. Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Will you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Please, mister. I'll just reach by. It won't take but a second. I'm leaning on it. Find one that ain't in use. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? You ain't the law, you know. You're as good as Barry, uh, cocksucker. No damn man. This what you wanted? They 
worse than worse. You always was one for gossip. Jethro Minglethorpe, gossip, gossip, gossip. But as usual, you're spreading lies. Lies? Every fool knows the charges were trumped up. But the darkie killed a white man. How Jimmy Holzaker had a weak heart. He died of a heart attack. Nonsense. And Samson Black was set up. Everyone knows Judge Amory took a bribe. You don't believe that, do you? Sure. And you call me a gossip? Anyway. How's your Tom? He's fine. Just fine. Marlene? Still with us. Have a fine day. Ain't no surprise to me no more. Just trying to make it through another day. Hey, we're looking for some escapees. Got posters all over town if you'd like to help. How are you, sir? Couple fellers missing. Got posters up all over town. Evening. Good evening. Hey, looky here. You got a problem? Hey there. I'll be damned. You're back. What can I offer you? Englishman. <laughs> really funny it is. There's a reason you're following me. I need me. that poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. This one's mine, so you can go and get your own. The hell you doing? <laughs> Shit! Just leave me alone! I'm looking for my friend. Gavin. Give me that! Has anyone seen an Englishman called Gavin? I, I, I'm looking for my mate Gavin. Somebody help me! Gav? I've lost my friend. Somebody help me, please.
You brought hell down on yourself. I'm taking a liking to killing you, boy. All bets are in. Heck, it's been some time. Welcome Hello. back from your journeys. Howdy, fellas. Hello, mister. Hit me. Hello, sir. How do you do? Oh, farewell Hit now. Let's go, boy. Yep. Hey, friend. Hello. How was in town? Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you? Killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, man. That's that. Free at last. Free from you, at least. Well, not quite. No? We should wait a while first, see if anyone's on our trail. You're right. Too risky to split up now. Two sets of eyes is better than one. This ain't permanent, though. It's a temporary measure. Well, right, right, till things blow over. Then I'm done with you, Black. I'm counting the hours, White. train should be here soon glad you dropped in i've got that uh information you asked for um, i need something more specific this time a wagon full of moonshine well you might just be in luck i knew i picked the right feather to speak to How's your look? Not 
Careful there. Out of the way! Careful now. I think the beer in the saloon is going on. At least it might have strength. Anyhow. What's the commotion? You a loon or something? This night folk country. Night folk? I can look after myself. <laughs> okay. Maybe you should clear out, though, if you're so troubled by things of the night. It's night, folk. And I would, it's just... Hey, on my property. Hey, w would you help me? Uh, get them off? Well, I, I I'd pay you for your troubles. You pay me, huh? Maybe. Well, show me where this place is. We'll see. All right. Let's go. Hey, it's just over there. You good man, partner. I 
folk could put me on the pipe. They got their paws on me. Hang me up on a hardwood hammock. Boy, I'm lucky I ain't dead as it is. Night folk. Oh, they bad people. Bad folk. Animals, a lot of them. You know, I ain't never heard no night folk speak. There's not been one peep out of no night folk. Not that I ain't heard it, at least. Imagine not uttering a sound. Can you fathom that? Mm -mm. What kind of evil don't make no sound? It's bad, all right. Bad. I mean, I don't meet many folk out here on my own, the most part. But I still speak, you know? Well, I talk to myself. Ain't no one else around. Chew my own goddamn ear off. I can imagine. Now, used to be the gators was the worst thing in the bayou. Gators and snakes. I've been snake bit more times I like to remember. Ain't been gator bit, though. Got that to be thankful for, at least. Gator bites is nasty. Mm-hmm. Then turtle bites is bad, too. They call them snapping for a reason. Yeah, well, I've been known to snap, too. So, how about we keep it down? Oh, yes, partner. Yep. Uh-huh. That's probably best. When you got to worry, all right. You coming or what? Look at that. He fresh. You see what I mean? This night folk work. I knew this fella. Good fella. Didn't deserve this. Now, come on! More damn bats! Slow down. Hey, hey! Poor feller on the tree been here for years. You think it's bad being a dead feller on a tree? It's worse when you're a live one with a stick through you. Out. They might not speak, but they sure can see. Now, look out here, there's gators. What a place to make your home. It's nice, ain't it? Hey, clear up over there. Shit, they're coming. What the hell?
Slow down. Hey, hey. Poor fella on the tree been there for years. Lamps out. They might not speak, but they sure can see. Now, look out here. There's gators. What a place to make your home. It's nice, ain't it? sorts. You go deal with them. I'll be here with my rat gun. Okay, do what you can. Oh, they got someone. Ooh, poor fella. Oh, too late for him. That's bad juju, all right. Get your reward. Gotta be more of them. Wait here. I'll see. I don't. Not at all. Here you go, partner. What is this? Swamp trash? No, that's some of the good stuff right there. You good man, mister. Damn decent. You sure you're gonna be okay? I'll be fine. Night folk won't come here anymore. They dumb, but they ain't stupid. Well, so long now.
Ah, uh, there, mister. Close enough. Back off. Uh, word of warning. I seen a big old gator just sitting in the road up ahead. I think we'll take our chances. man wonderful <laughs> you got my money <laughs> it's it's for a very good cause uh, my name is professor andrew bell the third perhaps you've heard of me <laughs> can't say that i have oh i'm an inventor uh, maybe you've read about me <laughs> uh, i don't read much oh oh well that's too bad oh yes <laughs> you got my money 
<clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> Creepers, excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. Well, what? See, it's a chair full of electricity and quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? Good morning to you. I can't believe this is really happening. <gasps> Let me, oh, good walk will clear my mind. Let's speak to the chief and I'll put the finishing touches to my machine. And a lucrative one to boot. <laughs> Hurry, my friend. The, the sooner you speak to the chief, the sooner we can show everyone. Morning, it's dear. War Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's scared to the worst! Don't hurt him, please! Meet us at the cathedral, Mr. Morgan. You all right? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? You know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? That way. Wait. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. <sighs> Last Saturday, I... Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. <clears throat> hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. How? Now. I mean, I, hey, Help! I, Help! Hold on! This man is bothering me! Now. Someone help me! Officer! Help! <sighs> Why? See what happens!
When I was younger, those challenges used to frustrate me. But then, over... You just Mr. Morgan! Uh, excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't! Oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is... Greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice. Shortly before she passed, you are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Brother Dorkin found him. I told you.
Until you get this right. I can't, Daddy, please. Let him in. He's been trying for hours. He ain't no kind of man till he can get on a horse. <laughs> I can't do it, Daddy. He's you're here for your bounty. Come to mama, boy. Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. We knew you was coming. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. Make it quick. You're a forgiven man. Boy. Boy, come here. Listen. Exactly as I say. You hear? Don't. Don't. I ain't gonna fight you in front of my family. Okay? Take me away or let me loose. You gonna take me or what? Look away, boy. You remember this moment. You're the man now. Be a man, boy. I love you, Daddy. Enough with that. Just remember what I said, boy. It's just us now, son. It's just us. Is it? Now what was the point in all that? Could have got your neck broke. Prematurely. There he is! Like a horse there! Yeah! Let's see about this. Hold on. Won't be long to where we Shot him. I'm ready. I hope they make it quick. Whoa now. Don't be stupid. Put that thing down. You're coming with me. Found 
this feller on a small holding. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky it's not a grave. I was out to buy you. Wasn't hurting no one. Maybe you weren't, but those partners of yours were a rough bunch. Go to hell. That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it, someone else would have. Tell yourself that, bounty hunter. You ain't whiter than white. I hope your past catches up with you. I built a home out in godforsaken country. Land no one would want. I made amends, I promise. You'll find redemption in a chain gang. Or on the end of a rope, that's all. Should be something else going up in the station in a little while. Keep an eye out. We all deserve second chances, every one of us. Hello there. Not good. News you wouldn't want to... How do you do, sir? Glad you dropped in. I've got that, uh, information you asked for. Fine and dandy. Well, that's good. Um, I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. Matter of fact. I'll be right there. If you're waiting for the next train, should be here soon. Ah, hello. Sorry, I, I don't have anything for you right now. Look, I'm working on it. Come back and see me later.
Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you? Some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. <clears throat> toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betray and, and not pay the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. Ah! Ways I cannot see. And still, the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <clears throat> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! Enchanté! <laughs> Hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. My friends, 
You are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see. I will power this boat. You're a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon, dressed up like a buffoon, is a stooly. I watch them conspire, you morons. <laughs> I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. <sighs> Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it. And I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and uh, don't touch that. Use these ones to steer, and this one to shoot torpedoes, OK? Yes, now now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mites. They have magnets. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Hey, it's doing what I'm telling it. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo! You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves. In this is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death, the transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. Even little boats can sink, okay? Please! Torpedoes do not have so much range. I am an invisible wave engineer, not a rocket physicist. Another one down. I'm getting the magic of this. Show them one more to prove. to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. The, 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 the demonstration's not over yet. Any fool can explode a sitting dock. Next, he will show you the moving docks. Well, all right. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of Pog, still avoiding magnetic mites. Oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is 
really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond, still avoiding magnetic mines. No, oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Look who rules the seas. Very good, very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof, undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools, and unlike fools, not fools and their money are difficultly parted. <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <clears throat> I hope you will forgive my uh, European course.